She's been obviously. She's been up here for several minutes now. What are you doing? What are you doing? I love you. My tiger, see? I'm standing up. And she just jumps up on top of me. She jumps up on top of me like this. What are you doing, Tigress? You thinking of going someplace else? You thinking of going someplace? She uses me. She just jumps up, flies through the air, lands on my shoulder, and sinks the claws in and loves me. Although it hurts. <laughs> Makes me bleed sometimes. And she does this shit every morning. I love you too, baby. Yeah. Maybe we'll find out about your lost son that I let Ricky take for his niece. And it was supposed to come back here if she didn't want it. But no, I got jerked around for two years. And then when I finally found out, I went to the animal hospital where she works. So she didn't need no cat. She works in an animal hospital for 28, 20, 29 years, she told me yesterday. And she told me to, uh, to give her till Saturday. And if I don't hear from her by Saturday, to call her Saturday. You know, I want the cat back. I've wanted the cat back since the day he took it. All right? Because the adoption did not go the way it was supposed to go. I get to interview everyone that I give a cat to and I didn't get to interview his his niece which I thought was a little girl not a woman my age I thought she was a little girl that lost her cat and was distraught that's what Ricky told me all right I gotta have this cat you know and it was the one that I was really attached to I was gonna let all of them go except that one that was the plan but then ain't the way it worked out because, you know, uh, it was keeping the mother for Tiger, Kitty, who's no longer with us, which is another nightmare. That cat should still be here. He was not that old. He was only 10 years old. Well, Mindy lived to be 19, and I know some cats that made it to 21, so... I love animals, and they love me. She's purring away. But little Peanut, I was told, oh, she... And, I, and she works in an animal hospital, and I met the woman yesterday. And uh, she works in an animal hospital, and Ricky told me, oh, she thought it was a female and changed the name to Callie. Well, for eight weeks, I called him Peanut. I named the animal Peanut. Just by changing the name and thinking it's female when it's got a set of balls hanging, all right, is, is too much for me to fucking handle, all right? Too much. All right? The cat, I wanted it back because... The adoption didn't go the way it was supposed to go, all right? I let them take the cat, and they were supposed to call me. And I've been bothering this fucking guy every month. Every month. Where's my cat? Where's my cat? Every time I think of, where's my cat? All right? I want it back. You know, I wanted it back since day one or day two. Because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Alright, and Ricky's been jerking me off, giving me false information for 25 months. Now I know who had it, and now she's trying to find out who's got it. This is bullshit. Nobody wants the cat because it's gone from one person to the next person to the next person to the next person. And that's the problem. Alright, no one wanted the cat. I wanted the cat. I wanted to keep the cat. All right? My 5.30 a.m. rant, 6 a.m. rant. 
been up for an hour now. Alright? Fucking, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about that cat. Because everyone else that adopted one, and there's only two out there. Alright? Only two out there. Three, no, excuse me, three out there, but two out there that that went adoption went the way it was supposed to go. They came over here, they met the cat, you know, at three, four weeks when the eyes first opened, they named the cat, and I called the cat by their name for another four weeks. At eight weeks, they came by to adopt. They made a little donation, I think 50 bucks from one person, 20 from another. That's nothing. I spent two hundred fifty, three hundred, three hundred dollars, I think, on each one of them, because the mother was sick. She had giardia worms in her colon. Uh, therefore, all the babies needed to be dewormed. The mother needed it three times. I think we had to do the babies twice. All this deworming cost a lot of money, and uh, and then all the shots vaccinations, everything. There's a lot of money. Nobody gave me no money for the cat. Alright? Now, and even though they didn't give me no money, I still let them go with no money. It's love that I was looking for. Love, not money. Love and a friendship. Alright? Another cat lover that's gonna send me photos and videos at least once every three months, at least once a season. All right, a winter, spring, summer, fall. All right, so I could see how the animal's doing growing up. All right, at least in photos and videos. All right, but I haven't gotten any of that from Peanut Simba. And I hear that they think it's a female and they named it Callie. That's bullshit. That means this animal ain't getting what it's supposed to get. And, and I want it back. I want it back. I really, really want it back. The only way that, that I'm going to allow them to keep the cat and not have any trouble from me, because I'm very seriously, very seriously thinking of going to the police with this, all right? Because 